big setters, probably get the get, get thought, but there's a Roger for the jungle here. Uh oh, that's a deep cut. It's very, very, he's a deep for that. Yeah, no, uh, Nibor has no, never played uh, XP show. Yeah, and Light is gonna play it. We're gonna have around. Demon Kite will get the turtle, the fight already gonna break out too. Glacial drop down, still fight gonna ensue. Edward trying to get out, won't be able to. Heals up though, there's the implosion we were talking about. And Edward does stay alive with that heal and the setup coming out from the implosion from Red. This Moskov matchup that we saw so much of, it does play a part in it where, yeah, you do have to worry about Domain later on. And, you know, of course, that farming timing. Oh. Hold on, there was a kick there too. Raging Sandstorms goes in, they're gonna fight this. Renegade went down earlier. Towards that purple buff, so they don't find Nibor in that, but Ren Jungle providing a lot of vision for Aurora to counter out the rotation that the Raiders are doing right now. Again, Renegade oh. has his flicker. Wow. Whoa, light. He wanted to go in there to, to go for a pickoff. He ends up getting taken out. That was a quick one for Aurora as they tried to work on the middle lane as well. Again, here comes the contest. As the Spear of Whoa. Destruction will connect! Gets the Purify out. There's the flicker, the implosion too. The toss-up under the turret. Kosei goes down, and now Yue looking to pick up a kill on Light. One hit, has a little bit of shield, so he'll be fine. Still surviving it all. Once again, Sights here on the purple buff, putting the pressure on Irad. He will get it with the Retribution, but Rora's done enough damage already. It's just this off. He's going to get spotted out. He's going to go for Light, though. He'll pick up Light. I'm sorry, Whoa. the Guardian going to be dropped down, too. Domang firing off from the back side. This is all around the orange buff, too. Edward jumps in, still fighting in between the two turrets. They'll get the passive out. Spear Destruction will not land, but right now, Rora takes even more from RSG. And that, and again, this is the purple fight clash we're waiting for. For the pressure, once again, Light taking a brunt of the damage from Domang. They have to get the support here. Whoa. They're going to be able to crunch down to the choke point on Rora. They're going to pick up Renege, looking to fight back as Irad gets a double. Light falls down in the exchange, and now they're going for Domang. Domang fires off, but won't be able to follow through on the Spear Destruction. Meanwhile, Demon Kite fighting off Nibor here with Yue. Jumps on in with a Light and Pounce, and will Claw in. But they're gonna have to face this fight. Right, There's the implosion game. from the hitman. Gonna be able to find two lights. The first one to go down. They do get trapped into the glacier as Edward to follow. And now Irad in trouble as he gets just poked down, taken out. Now one of the turret demon kind of on the chase for Aqua, but Aqua still holds on to the passive. They get the tier two turret. Teams. Yeah, UA also. How's that frigid glacier going to force the fight? Wind of nature picked up by Kusei. They're going to need it, but an implosion again coming out from Renege. Forcing the fight under it all. Nibor taken out first. Your destruction won't be able to land. They get stopped by the tracks of the frigid glacier from Aqua. Still dealing with the Lord here. Now working on the mid turret. Rora full force still. No one goes down. Defensive items picked up. They're going to force the fight under it all. And they will work on the base before finishing the fight as they take game number one. Just like that, the hit match. I guess they don't, blood. they feel like they can do it. All reliable. All reliable. Okay. And one thing I can't say for sure about Aurora, they're playing double pet, uh, double pet, double purify. Oh yeah, 100 Put a Put a P on Yue and Doming. Can never Shots count. coming out from Demon Kite. Turtle still for the taking here, so there's the Raging Sandstorm. Irad will be able to get it, but the Eternal Guard drops down as well. Renage picks up a kill. Now they're gonna be working on Nibor. Their own Eternal Guard dropped down from Aqua, and Aqua on the escape. Demon Kite goes back in under the turret, but has to quad Shadow out. And now it's Nibor in trouble. Circling Eel there, but Nibor will be able to get away, and there's the kick coming out from Light, getting the revenge. Picks up a kill in exchange. Wherever they go there, and try to win. There it is. Here comes a kick from Light. There's the kick. They're going to be able to find Renege and take him out in an instant. That's exactly what we're talking about. Deep Kite goes in, checks things out. Has UA here and alongside Domang. The jump comes through. There's the Eternal Guard and Edward joining the fight. Goes in with Raging Sandstorm. He's going to be able to find two. Light goes down first and now under the turret they're going to fight. Edward has to back out with UA though as two are already down for Aurora. Couple shots still going for here. Nibor holding them on the front side. And even with running the back, this should be a turtle in the hands of RSG as Irad secures the they work on Edward here, as well as the bottom lane turret. Here comes oh. Demon Kite though. Shot kill gonna be used. Light won't be able to escape that time around. Demon Kite finally, once again, they're just trying to keep this pressure. 
alleviated. There's the Circling Eagle into the Raging Sandstorm as they'll be able to find Nimbor this time. Salmon Force dropped down too, and the Blazing Duet on the defense as Kosei just backs off, gets away, forced the fight again. Edward could be in trouble. Heals back up, Salmon Force again, and there's the Shadow Kill as they go under the turret as Demon Kite puts the pressure on RSG. Just like that, Aurora once again with the lead. And our XP laners so far have been performing phenomenally. A while ago, it was Nimbor. It took them the first eight minutes just there like is. this. He's going to go for the step up. Gets the kickoff. No kill, though, just yet. Eternal Guard drop down, and Light gets taken out of the exchange. Renage still up. There's the jump, but Demon Kite goes in the back side. Goes for Aqua. He's still going to survive, but it's Nimbor that goes down. Aqua took the Raging Sandstorm to survive, but now a full prepared. Yeah. For a force initiation, there's the jump in from Nimbor. Takes a couple shots, waiting for the rest of the team to follow up. On the defensive, Renan J goes in with a circling eagle again. And Zaman Force dropped on the turret. As both Eternal Guards just battle it out, nothing, no one will go down. Okay, a lot of ultimates has been casted, but RSG... No, they're just trying to keep things together. And sometimes it's just for your ass buffs alone, and Rora wants to force the fight. Oh, Domin goes in. Domin Force going to be dropped down, and they get choke pointed in. An Eternal Guard going to be dropped down as Nimora and Light are taken out. And Rora will go ahead and disengage and now start up this Lord, which should just be theirs. Yeah, ideally, RSG wants to go for a trade as much as possible, but in this case, you're outnumbered, outgunned by five members of Aurora MLBB. There's still a chance to turn things around, especially if you get a good pickoff again coming in from light. But it's going to be hard to burst down any member of Aurora, especially if they continue to deprive Irad of his purple buff, of his orange buff. And if RSG manages to extend this game down to the late game, it could be a good sign for them, because again, they still have Kosei with the Claude, one of his signature picks. Can deal out the damage towards the late game, turn things around, but again, the problem remains. RSG needs to deal with the push of Aurora. They have a level 2 Lord up top. And a good initiation from Renegade. They have to avoid it as the Lord marches up top, approaching the top lane here. They're going to try and go for an inhibitor turret as RSG desperately tries to go for the, a defense. But look at Light, though. Light positioning, though. They might be Patience. making a plan here. A plan here. Marenge oh. is going to spot them out. Forcing out the conceal. He's going to spot him out. He's going to chase him down, too. They might just maybe try to cut him off. It might not be worth the effort, but Light's going to have to do some fancy work for this one. Demon Kite knows where he's going to be. Shadow kill there, too, and Light. Tries to get out, but will go down. Oh, and now oh, RSG oh. left. Two members already taken out of the picture, so three up here. And RSG, is this, are they gonna just punch this one in even further? Aurora still working on the base turrets. A couple shots in, Edward goes in with the Raging Sandstorm. He's gonna be able to find Irad. And now the turret goes down to the bottom side as oh, well. Minions. There's only two down. Now still working through it, two up, the jump in from Nibor. They gotta clear the minions out. Base gonna be worked on here, and RSG sees the spot for the playoffs, holding on between these two as Nibor's already taken out of the picture, and Rora will do it. They'll go and win the series 2-0. Just dimming the hopes of RSG for making it to the playoffs.